hello you guys welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to show you how to type text around a circle or any part in adobe illustrator so let's jump right in so let's say you are finding it difficult to type a text around this adobe illustrator icon if this is your first time seeing adobe illustrator then you have to watch this video on getting started with adobe illustrator and it will help you get started and you know the tools you know what to do when you open adobe illustrator so on mastering adobe illustrator this particular video will teach you how to type text around here so this is what we'll do so pretty much this is a raster image and you can see it's an image okay so we need to type a text around here click on your ellipse tool and the shortcut for that is um, l okay so when you click on l on your keyboard it brings up the ellipse tool and all you have to do is to create a circle okay and then this circle is not a perfect circle so to get a perfect circle you hold shift okay shift will help you to get a perfect circle just like this okay then you leave okay and then you're going to click on your align horizontal align to center to centralize that and you click on vertical align to center to centralize this okay you can click on you can right click and click on arrange and send back and then the feel of this shape does not matter at all okay the black feel there does not matter at all all you have to do is to adjust by holding shift and alt on your keyboard you can adjust the circle to almost be the same size with that of the uh, logo okay of the icon and you see when you hold shift and alt to resize that it resizes itself evenly okay the four sides resizes itself so next thing you are going to do is to click on where we have a uh, type tool then when you click and hold you will see other options you click on your type on part two you click on that and then you're going to click on anyway now illustrator is so sensitive that once you bring a particular uh, icon close to a path when you bring the type on path to close to the path it shows you that you are on a path then you click and once you click you see this long text around the circle now you're going to type from the beginning of this text to the end okay the text the lorem ipsum text here you are seeing here is a place holder text okay so all you have to do is to type what you want let's say adobe illustrator okay then you're going to click on ctrl a or command a if you're using a mac and then you're going to change the type to let's use something bold let's use akira okay that's cool adobe illustrator then you can increase the size as well to match whatever size you want okay i think i'm okay with this and then once you have to know is you can always adjust this text okay the way it is by taking this here you see this icon it shows you can take this backward and it shows you can take this one forward so once you click on your direct selection tool you are able to move this forward or backward so let's see what it looks like you can adjust it this way or that way okay then what you need to know is you can always adjust the alignment of this text so by highlighting the text here you can always click on your align okay let's see like you click on your align center and once you click on your align center you see the text aligns to the center and this is why this side looks like the center when you click on your direct selection tool you see where these two uh, icons are these two adjustments are when you bring them to this point now let's study this circle this circle has four anchor points we have one point here we have another point here we have another point here and another one here and then when you bring this part that takes this back to the first anchor point and you take this other part to this other anchor point you see the adobe illustrator now centralized itself that is because you align to the center okay so everything you type let's say i have to edit this text and type maybe dennis 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 you see the text is coming out from the center that is why you have to align to the center so you have everything specific okay 
So that's it. Let's go back to our normal text Adobe Illustrator. And then let's say you want to adjust this text. Now there are different ways to adjust this text. For you to adjust this text, you have to go to type, you go to where you have type on a path, and you go to where you have type on a path options. Now when you have this, you can click on preview so you see whatever you are doing. Now you have where you have your effect. You click and you see skew. This is what skew looks like. See where you have a 3D ribbon, and this is how it looks like. And you have stay step. And now all these effects you can use them creatively, like so you can be creative using them, use them in different ways, okay? And gravity. Now for this particular one, I love using the rainbow, okay. I love leaving it at default and then when you click on align to pad you see where you have ascender and you see let's preview that ascender makes your text to be inside okay why we are not seeing the text is because the circle is be behind the logo so let's open up that so we can see what we are actually talking about you can right click on that and click on arrange bring to front so you see the text is now inside the circle let's go back to our type on path options so you see what ascender does then descender let's preview that descender makes the text to be outside the circle and then center makes the text to be at the center of the circle just like that and then baseline makes the text to be on this base of the circle around the circle you can see what it looks like and then when you come to spacing spacing helps you to adjust the space be between the text here okay so you can see what it looks like i like to keep my own on zero so i won't distort the text and then if you click on flip flip will rotate the text the other way around i'm going to show you how to work with flip okay so let's return everything back to normal let's leave it at rainbow baseline and preview hit on okay then i'm going to duplicate this text okay then to duplicate this text you're going to click on control or command c to copy just copy that then you click on control or command f to paste in place this is what it looks like when you paste in place the text you paste will be on the particular place the former or the previous text was okay let me delete that click again control command c copy Ctrl V will paste this anywhere, okay? That's why I do not use Ctrl or Command V. I use Ctrl F. Ctrl F will paste it in place, okay? Then you can hold on where you have this point and rotate this around until you are on the... You can hold Shift to remain on a particular point where you be on the center. So this is what we get, okay? This is exactly what we get. But then observe that the adobe illustrator is not written well this is where type on path option comes in so you click on text you click on type on path and then you click on type on path options so this is what you see then here you're going to set this again okay so let's say we're going to review then we're going to click on flip so once you flip you click on baseline and click on um descender okay pretty much i would like to use center here so it will look the same with the other one i'm going to adjust the other text as well so we have the very same thing here so once you click on that you can click on okay you can see your adobe illustrator is also the same so you click on this other text let's change the type on part option to center as well center preview that center hit on okay so you see now we have both text the same so what we are going to do is to select both text by click on the first one and you click on hold shift and click on the second one then you hold shift and alt and increase the size just like that so we have something that looks like this and pretty much this is how it's done you can bring in a circle here click on your ellipse create an ellipse here and then let's do this press i on your keyboard to activate the eye drop tool click on this color so this circle has that same color so you hold alt hold shift to win on a straight line to duplicate that so this is what we get and pretty much we have been able to type around this part 
and moreover you can always do the same with any part let's say we have this text this part here using my uh, paint tool i created this part let's say this is the part okay we're going to increase the size when you click on your type on part to click on this part you can see the text wraps itself around the part and you can adjust the text to meet whatever you want and pretty much this is how to type on a part in adobe illustrator so there are different ways to type on a part and there are different ways to call your text in illustrator but in this tutorial we focus more on typing round a circle in our next tutorial we're looking at how to curve a text in adobe illustrator or wrap a text round object and pretty much that would be very cool but then if you like to learn more about adobe illustrator or how to make creative designs with adobe illustrator click on this video and keep watching thank you so much for watching and if you find this video helpful make sure you leave a like and make sure you comment and share this video with your friend Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Peace.